Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 19, verses 3 through 8, where it is written, Some Pharisees came to him, and to test him they asked, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause? He answered, Have you not read that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female, and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother, and he and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh? So, so they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. They said to him, Why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and to divorce her? And he said to them, It was because you are so hard-hearted that Moses allowed you to divorce your wives, but from the beginning it was not so. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So the Pharisees don't care what's really going on. They have their end goal, and they're like, Hmm, how can we carve up the scriptures and tradition to back up what we already believe? Now, Jesus looks at this and is like, oh boy, you guys may think you're good, but I'm the Almighty God. I wrote those scriptures, those traditions you, you value so much. I was with the people who thought them up in the first place, and you've twisted them to do some really bad stuff and make it all about rules, rules, rules. I follow them. You don't. I'm better than you. Nee, 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 nee. But our Lord's like, look, marriage, you're talking about the legality of divorce and can I get away with it? Let me take you back to the beginning. Jesus Christ, our creator, made people of two genders, male and female, for a very real purpose, for marriage and childbearing, steering a family so the earth could be populated. That's why God made us in the first place. He wanted us to be his literal children and to grow and multiply, have families, have children, so we could be his people, his partners here in this world. Because God loves us. God values us. And he's not there alone by himself. He wants to be his people in this world to join him in what he's doing. That's why we're here on this planet. And from this you get, can I get divorced or not? Context, folks. Context. It's never about rules and regulations of how can I gerrymander into what I want. It's always about God, who he is, and what he has done. God is love. Out of love, God creates us. So even when we walk away from him at the cross, Jesus Christ forgives us our sins by dying. At the empty tomb, we see a restoration of how humanity, how the creation should be. Uh, man and woman working with God, joining God. And this includes family life and the practice of rearing children, whatever they're doing, they're joining Jesus in what he's doing here. That's why we were created in the first place. And that's why marriage is so valuable. That's why marriage is so sacred. And people say, well, the church, they put all these rules and regulations about, you know, this, this, and that. Why? Because as humans, you always put boundaries and regulations around things that are most important. And now that I'm a husband and father, in my 20s, I didn't really get this, but now I see how important family life really is. Next to our Lord Jesus Christ, it's the most important thing in the world. It should be protected. And, you know, people come with these general uh, new ideas and novel ideas. They have their time, and they pass. But the family, the husband, the father, the mom, the dad, that... I mean, it's not eternal. It wasn't always. It didn't always exist like our Lord. But since we live forever with our Lord, and we have parents, and we have spouses, family life is eternal, just like Jesus. It'll be with us for a very long time. In fact, forever. And that's so. It's sacred. God loves it. God made it for a very real reason, and it's unbelievably important. All the more reason for us to do our best to be husbands and fathers. Our wives and mothers, because God needs us to be them in this world. Let us close with prayer. Lord, thank you for the gift of family. May we rightfully treat it as the sacred gift you created it for us to have. And Lord, may we always join you as your children in this creation, for you've forgiven us our sins. Thank you, God, for this. Amen.